The small mining town of Rosebury on Tasmania's west coast is divided over the plans by some residents to sue the local mine owner. Ten residents say they've been poisoned by the mine's heavy metals, but the mine is the town's main employer and the claims that it's poisoning locals has angered a much bigger group of Rosebury residents, as Felicity Ogilvy reports. The small town of Rosebury on Tasmania's west coast owes its existence to the min-metal zinc, lead, copper, silver and gold mine. That's why the allegations by a group of residents that they're being poisoned by the mine is causing such division. Local woman Jo Powell was so concerned at the claims she set up an online website called Rosebury is not contaminated, I'm prepared to be tested. She says the site is designed to maintain the good reputation of Rosebury. Rosebury is getting a reputation as the contaminated town, like a house prices have dropped. Um, tourists actually come to town and say, oh, you know, we can't drink the water here and, and people are poisoned and dying. Um, we're not denying that maybe there is a problem in Rosebury, um, despite the name of the group. Um, but we want some, some answers, whether they be proof that there is contamination in town and what can be done about it or, or answers proving that there is no contamination. 400 people have already joined her Facebook page. But Jo Powell says some of the comments posted have been so offensive she's had to remove them. Here's a sample of some of them. It's funny how the people have lived here for so long and they're not sick. Fuck off and get a real life, you low life, instead of running our town down. What a load of Why are these people still living in a so-called contaminated mining town? that they have no idea on how to repack their bags and get the f*** out, if it's that bad. Or is there not enough people that can pack it for them and show them the way out? Houses go up quick when you set a light to them. I'm sure no one will miss one house and two dumb... When the people write the comments, they don't to realise when they put it up, it's their opinion, but it reflects on everybody else in the group, and we don't all feel that way. Like, like there are some people that that have feelings like that, but I mean, it's not everybody. It's not everybody that wants out of town or of burning their house down or anything ridiculous like that. But yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's why they've been removed. Kay Saltitsis is one of the people who the comments are aimed at. I was surprised that particularly the ones where they're talking about packing their bags and taking them out of town. Rosemary is a little bit like that. Uh, it always has been they believe they can do things like that, but uh, you can't do things like that, just because you don't agree with what someone's saying. Miss Saltitsis and other residents are asking lawyers to see if they have a case to sue the mine operators over the alleged heavy metal poisoning. But she says she won't take any action over the online abuse. The Tasmania police say they haven't received any complaints about the Facebook website. Felicity Ogilvy reporting.